I feel, uh, you know, a lot of the, uh, things which are very, which have got very low entry barrier, like, you know, opening a retail store or opening a, you know, online uh, a retail store. Uh, that is, you know, something which is uh, very, very easy uh, and with a low entry barrier, uh, you can, anybody and everybody can do it. But I think the major uh, uptake, I think in, in the, which actually we saw in, in uh, just after COVID, we saw a lot of, you know, online pet stores and online things happening. Uh, and even on the services side, you know, a lot of those things happening. But what I feel in the years to, in, in the next year to come, a lot of product related companies will also emerge because, you know, to stabilize a product, it takes a little longer uh, and it's, it's, it has got a high entry barrier. Um, uh, so I think, uh, you know, dog food, treats, uh, health supplements, uh, we should uh, see a lot of companies coming out of India and uh, doing uh, and uh, doing exports also and doing a strong impact uh, on the global uh, pet industry from India. I mean, I, I feel that there should be a lot of companies building uh, global brands uh, out of India in this uh, category. That is what you know I feel is going to happen in 2022. Gaurav, uh, what do you think? There are two two things. Global trends, as Rana said, one is that most of the new brands which are getting launched are direct to consumer, right? So brands now interact directly with the consumer. It does two things that the consumer can or the customer can directly ask and give feedback to the company about how it is. In our particular case, what we are finding is that other than the honest and the healthy dog food, people are also going towards more customized or more greater understanding of what their dog needs and then they are feeding it. So when they're doing direct interaction with the companies, the quality of uh, you know, uh, the, the, the nutrition that is going for a particular pet that uh, you know, gets better many times over. So what we find is, and India is probably second after US in terms of launch of D2C brands because it requires a certain digital capability set with companies, which is there only in India. So, other than the manufacturing base coming up, we believe that a lot of brands will come out of India catering to the global need. So this is this is a category which is going to go really, really fast. So one is manufacturing base. Second is Indian brands in 10 years time will start to dominate the global market. Dogspot has been number one in whatever it has done. Rana is very, very focused on doing that. We are the number one platform uh, digitally on as a website. We've been number one in social media. And with our launch of dog food, we have clear that we want to be number one in India and we want to lead India's presence globally through our food. So uh, tw in 2022, we will become a little more visible and on our way to, uh, you know, regaining our top spot in the pet market.